Okay. What's up, guys? Um, so, great news. Now, I know everybody's watched my videos on Easy FM. And don't get me wrong, love Easy FM. But I know a lot of people are like, yeah, great, that's awesome. But I want to play Fortnite on my Mac. Not an old version of Fortnite that I can barely get 60 players in the lobby with. I want to play Fortnite with my friends on their other consoles or PC. I want to play the game game, not a recreation of the old version. That's great. I'm glad you're here, because that's what we're doing today. This is the second video that I was alluding to earlier whenever we were talking about the full screen. Um, this. I will leave this in the description below, as I always do. Uh, ignore that Gmail opening. I was having to log into GitHub a few minutes ago. Um, so, yeah. This is great. So, yeah, let's just get into it. Um, so, you're going to want to, of course, download the Fortnite Mac Assistant, uh, drag it into your applications folder, you know, the normals, uh, so then you spotlight, or I usually test, you don't even have to use spotlight, you can go through your applications, but I'm just going to use it here because it's easier. So yeah, it'll flag you, as it always does, back to the privacy and security screen. Okay, so it should open. Now, I will be walking you through exactly what to do, and from my knowledge, if you don't do what I do here, this this is crucial, what I'm about to do. It will brick your game, and you'll have to wait for a next macOS update, if I'm not wrong, or you'll have to um, soft reset your system, which is like... Back up everything you have with Time Machine, reset your Mac OS, like completely like factory it, and then Time Machine back over it. So everything you have will come back immediately. But um so watch. If if this is the video that you're gonna pay attention to, or this is the part, pay attention. So first, um this right here doesn't really matter to my knowledge, I'm all I'm obviously going to take the full screen IPA because you know like I want to be able to launch the game and it be full sized everything is like it scales to my Mac screen, right? So that's the one I'm going to download. So just click download IPA. It'll download automatically to your uh downloads folder. So just let that download. Um <laughs> as in every video I've ever posted this channel you're gonna need side loadly, <laughs> you know. <laughs> At this point, me me and side loadly are best buds. Um, so in here, you won't have to change anything. Yeah, you won't have to change anything. Um, so you should just be able to click start, cancel, whatever. Let it hang out here for a second. It'll sign it. This takes a little bit longer than usual for side loadly. I think because it's just like, I'm not fully sure why actually. Now this is the crucial part, right? You do not want to go back to your FN assistant and click, click patch app. You do not want to do that. You want to go back into your applications folder or whatever and launch it. Now I know you're going to be like, okay, yeah, launch it, whatever. Sure. Um, what, what, what is that going to do? We'll see. We need it to create its needed files. Now, yeah, I know, it crashes. That's fine. We're about to fix that. But we needed it to create those files and to be signed into your Mac OS. Because where, if you click Patch App before you start it, it'll brick the install. Because it'll be changing files in a system that, to your Mac's knowledge, it doesn't even know what it is. Because you hadn't allowed it in privacy and security. So now... You can come back to the F and Mac Assistant, click Patch App. Um, as you can see, Fortnite has been patched. You can now open Fortnite. Cool. So, now, you should, as long as everything went well, you should be able to open your game. And boom. As you can see, it'll download. Now, this is another issue. Um, a few problems with this. Number one, touch does not work obviously your mac 
thinks this is an iPad app. So, yeah. Um, keyboard works with massive asterisks in both corners. Because, number one, you can't change your keybinds. So you're playing with the normal keybinds Fortnite allows. Um, number two, well, I'm just going to screen capture volume down so you're not getting blasted with whatever I'm, my lobby track is. So, number one, um, yeah, with the, with that. Now, I will say, uh, this works perfectly with controller, but, uh, there is a lot of input lag unless you go into full screen, um, and if you are start like clicking around in it and stuff your uh your cursor will get locked so if you just control tab once you can get out and then it goes into full screen and look at that um i have an m1 macbook air and these are my settings that i run and i get consistent 75 ish fps so It works great. I mean, really, I was, I've been, I hit, um, ranked and reload. I hit higher ranked and reload. Yeah. I single-handedly, like, on the Mac client, got from, I got from Diamond 2 to Elite. So, it runs well enough to play ranked. And that's the other thing, you won't get flagged and ranked. I just wouldn't recommend doing anything to do with the compete tab just out of like the risk of course but if you want to i mean go for it there there hasn't been like a direct example of someone getting banned for it i just don't want to be the person to like embrace it and then be the reason people get banned and then get their accounts banned so do it at your own risk um but yeah it's actually really easy i would i would say it's almost easier than just easy fm um but yeah, I mean, it pretty much you need one app, which is, I mean, technically two. I'll I'll have side load link in the description because I'd imagine I'll have some new viewers on this. I'll have side load link in the description below for everyone to use. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. Um, I hope to, hey, I hope to you know see in the comment section below some people trying this out and getting to play on it. It's really exciting. The FN Mac Assistant is also, like, really fast on getting update files out. So, one thing, uh, I'll just say it now. Whenever Fortnite comes out with new updates, you'll have to, uh, completely delete your game out of the applications folder. Don't worry, you won't have to, like, reinstall all the 14 gigabyte file you have to install on first open. It's with, it's like how easy FN is, where when you just add it back to your applications folder, it just tacks itself back on to everything it installed already. But you'll have to download it from here. So, like, let's say, for example, whenever uh, Fortnite-32 hyphen comes out, which is the remix season, you'll have to go here, download the IPA, and go through every step that we did. So, it's a little finicky, don't get me wrong. But, if you were really wanting to play Fortnite on your Mac... And you just didn't really care too much for Easy FM because you know there aren't as as many players, and you want to be able to play with your other friends. Boom, there you go. Uh, so thank you all for watching. If anyone has any issues in the comment section below that you run into, just put them in the comment section. I will be down there, like I always am, trying to respond and help with any questions. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. It's been order, and peace.